about retirement, what you felt like actually when you retired. And I'll tell you my story about retirement. And everybody's dream is sitting on a tropical beach with a view like this. Beautiful white sand, emerald coloured sea, lovely sunny day. Here we are in January, freezing cold on most places of the world, but here in Corsa Met, beautiful weather. So what's it feeling like to retire? Uh, it's a wonderful feeling, but also it's a strange feeling. I'll give you the scenario of my last week's retirement. Um, I had two day shifts and two night shifts before I retired totally. So obviously excitement with that last week of working. And on our last two night shifts, I had people and friends coming into the fire station. So we all had a big meal together and I paid for it. And it was sort of exciting because they, they give me the leaving presents and everybody says well done and I had my big bosses come down and shake my hand and say thank you very much for the 30 years of service and it just makes you feel as if you've been a valued member of an organisation and then on our last night shift we had no call out so it was a quiet night shift and then nine o'clock the following morning when we left our night shift the following shift came on duty and they all said you know well done round of applause for when i was leaving and then my off going shift I shook hands with everybody and off they went home then i was left to clear my locker out and that's sort of when it hit home Everybody had gone home, shift had finished, the oncoming shift, checking the appliances, then going upstairs for a cup of tea. And then the fire station was deathly quiet. And I put all my stuff into plastic bags. And at the end of the shift, I put my plastic bags into the office. And I looked at it and I thought, there's 30 years of service in four plastic bags in the office. Everybody was upstairs having a cup of tea, so I resisted the temptation of going by and saying goodbye to everybody. So I just jumped in the car and off I went. And I've never returned back to the fire station again. But what a feeling of excitement over the week before you retire. Then actually when you retire and you walk out the door and you know you're not going to come back again, it's a strange feeling. Then all that day you just keep thinking, I'm never going to go back. I'm never going to go back. And then the following day you wake up and you think, wow, it's so strange not to be having to work. And then obviously because I've made plans to do my round the world trip, we had three or four months to, to plan. So then we had to plan to sell the equipment and stuff that we didn't need because we had to give up the flat obviously. And declutter, store things in other people's houses that we were never going to use for two or three years or so. So big plans and we were lucky because we had something to do and but for those people who retire and don't have any plans and it just goes home and I learned lessons of one or two other offices that I used to work with who retired and their wives after three or four months say for Christ's sake go and get a job stop sitting and moping around the house drinking coffee all day you do nothing so their retirement because they had no plans actually felt the pieces and it was a strain and a struggle because now they weren't needed anymore what they were going to do so for those people who are approaching retirement you've got plenty of time to plan for it you've got a year at least before you know you're going to retire so make plans of what you're going to do if you're going to work after that part-time job or hobbies make a plan don't just let it happen so one day you're retired then the next day oh what do i do you've got plenty of time to plan You've had plenty of time working, planned the last year of what you're going to do. In my locker, I had one of them countdown clocks that somebody gave me a year before I retired. Every day, every shift when I looked at that countdown clock, it told me that I was going to retire in one month, two months, three months, four months or whatever. It was fantastic. So it's an exciting time to retire. It opens up doors and opportunities. So anybody that wants to look forward to retirement, make the plan have a plan when you retire. I'm sat here today and I'm 15, 20 minutes away from where I live. This is my local beach on Corsa Met. It's fantastic. Just look at the sea out there. It's 
beautiful. This is what you can do. Make the effort, make the plans. Look at the drone footage. This is the beach where we're at now. Tub Tim's Beach in Costa Mexico. So it was 60 baht for the ferry to come across. 200 baht to enter the national parks for foreigners. Then we hired a motorbike, 250 baht a day. So we can drive around the beach. So we're at Tub Tim's Beach now. And then we're going to go to another beach snorkeling. So retirement can be a lot of fun. I've been retired now for 11 years and I still love every single day. Who wouldn't love the tropical beach, warm seas, beautiful lifestyle? So enjoy it, look forward to retirement, have a plan, do something that you want to do.
living the dream in Thailand. Until the next time.